In our previous video, recording electric guitar part 3, we blended multiple mics on a guitar amplifier to suit different musical styles. In this video, we are going to try a technique called reamping and set up an ambient mic to add some space to our sound. In addition to our microphones, we have also been recording the direct signal out of Alex's guitar using a direct input box, or DI. The signal coming directly out of an electric guitar does not have enough voltage to power a line level input and has a bit too much voltage for a mic level input. The DI converts the instrument level signal from your guitar into a mic level signal that can be plugged into any of your microphone inputs without distorting. The DI also has a through connector that allows the direct signal from the guitar to be passed through to the amp. So along with our mic tracks we have this direct guitar signal, which sounds kind of plain and thin on its own. But we can use a reamping box to send the DI signal into an amplifier. We routed the output of our DI track to the input of a radial reamp JCR reamping box. The output of the reamper is connected to the input of an amplifier. Now we can get new tones by using a different amp than the one we had at the session, like this 1959 Gibson Explorer. We can also run the DI signal through stomp boxes on the way to the amp. The radial X amp works just like the JCR, but allows you to connect two amplifiers at the same time. Check out some of the tones we got by combining an SM57 on the Explorer with an MD421 on a Deluxe Reverb. Maybe you, like me, enjoy tracking guitar late at night at home. In order to avoid waking the neighbors, you can just record your guitar direct into your computer interface and reamp later. But a real amp has an input that drags down your signal a bit, making it sound warmer and fatter. To emulate this drag, you can use Radial's Dragster, which simulates a real guitar amp input. You plug the dragster in between your guitar and your interface, then turn the drag control for the desired amount of coloration. Let's compare direct guitar recording with and without the dragster. The guitar was recorded direct into my audio interface and then reamped into the deluxe reverb. And now, as promised, we set up a KSM44 condenser mic a few feet in front of our amps. We set the mic to figure 8 and pointed it sideways so it would pick up the sound bouncing off the walls but reject the direct sound from the amplifiers. You could also use a cardioid mic facing away from the amps. Here is the ambient mic all by itself. We can mix this ambient signal with the close mics to add a bit of space to the sound. But 
we can also add a big sense of space by panning our close mics to one side, like we might do in a real mix, and panning the ambient mic to the opposite side. Mm -hmm. 